Today we've got the all new TaylorMade P790 iron. It's the fourth generation of this iron and it's one of the most popular and most explosive irons on the market. Today we've got Michael Geiger here in the studio, Trackman Bay, here at the Second Swing Minute Taco store. We're gonna do some testing. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about this product and hopefully help you guys make a decision about where to put this model in your bag. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here at the Minnetonka store in the tour van today. New P790 iron from TaylorMade, the 2023 edition. Um, they've had 2017, 2019, 2021. This is the fourth generation of it. Um, every year it's been explosive. Mm -hmm. Every year in you know head-to-head -head tests that we've conducted, it's always been among the hottest and the farthest of irons in its player's distance category. So I'm excited to see what it delivers today. Me too. I think when I think about the player's distance category, especially especially visually, this is sort of the iron I, I kind of think yeah. about. It's, it's sort of got, it very much looks in many ways like, you know, a typical player's iron, but there's just, you can just almost see the technology and see the distance mm -hmm. uh, around the face. And, you know, this has been a very popular iron for, for those who, you know, all the way up to kind of middle double digit handicaps looking for more distance, even down to the best players in the world, you know, yep. looking for a three or four iron. So it's one of those irons that really encompasses a wide range of players. And uh, I'm excited to see what Taylor Mann has cooked up. Yeah, it has been fantastic. And like you said, any player that wants more distance out of an iron that isn't, you know, maybe they're not quite that 20, 25, even 30 handicap player that right. needs a lot of forgiveness. They still want an iron that kind of looks small, compact. Mm -hmm. P790 is where a lot of our fitters will start yeah. um, in that category. So um, one thing to note here is the FLTD center of gravity um, yeah. technology, which is basically um, an optimized center of gravity for each iron, right? Higher up in the shorter irons for more control and then lower in the long irons for that kind of forgiveness and easier launch, which as we know is a little bit more difficult with the longer clubs. Absolutely, I mean, I think you mentioned it. I mean along with nuclear distance, sometimes right. you need some forgiveness. You know, you, you want to be able to work it. You want a lot of attributes. But I think the biggest thing is is that forgiveness. And I'm really curious, you know, those toe heel strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's there's a fair amount of weight in this club. Even though it looks very compact and, and it looks more like a, a tour-like shape, um, you can see the forgiveness. And I'm excited to see if we, uh, if we feel the forgiveness. Yeah. A couple other things, too. Uh, the trend emerging now in golf club design is using AI to kind of yeah. optimize the design, optimize the weighting. And so they've done that with each loft in the set to make sure that the weight optimization is absolutely perfect. Uh, and then also they've brought back some other technologies to you know increase that sweet spot, right? Uh, speed foam air, super light technology inside. That's got that yep. hollow body uh, that gives you some solid feel, but also, again, kind of adds that distance. And then uh, you also see the the uh, speed pocket there on right. the bottom of the sole there, which will help on those miss hits low in the face that I know I'm very familiar with. So um, I'm well acquainted with those. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but, and then we should talk a little bit too about just where this iron fits in because TaylorMade, well, as very end of last year, kind of into 2023, released their P series, um, the latest versions of P770. P7MC, P7MB. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of the most forgiving of those, right? So you have the, of your P iron, so to speak, from TaylorMade, P790 would be the most forgiving of them. Right. As you go down to 770, MC, MB, you get least forgiving uh, from there. Yeah, I think even though it sits on the sort of the far end of the forgiveness spectrum in that, that P series, I think it's still, there's a lot of, you know, synchronicity with, in terms of combo sets. Yes. I, I think uh, one thing I like about these, the, the TaylorMade series of irons is, although they, they, cover a lot of different attributes and they're they're intended for different players they still kind of work mm -hmm. together in concert and so again if you are a tailor-made player on any whatever wherever on the tailor-made spectrum you are i think this you know deserves yeah. a strong look absolutely well I, I think it's time to do some testing here michael let's do it all right mr geiger you've got the p790 today i've actually got you in a kbs tour 130x because i know you have some speed uh, but the stock shafts are the Dynamic Gold, KBS Tour Lite. Um, those are the various stock options. And of course, in a fitting bay, of course, mm -hmm. you can, you know, those are just the beginning of the options um, in a tour van fitting here. But that's what I've got you set up with today. Now talk to me about the club head, what you see at address. Um, talk about the look, you know, what kind of confidence that inspires. So yeah, we talked about where this sits in kind of the P series, you know, on the spectrum. And I think what's nice is it, it fits very nicely in that it kind of reminds me of the MC model. Mm -hmm. Just everything just scaled up a little bit. Yeah. It, there's just a little bit more top line uh, that the club head's just, a, a, you know, 
a little bit larger. Yeah. So even though it has sort of the, you know, a sort of a tour like profile, there's still just a little bit more forgiveness in every area uh, to give that maybe middle handicap or a little more confidence. Yeah. I'm going to use an analogy that you, you've used before is that it's like the MC, you got a trainer, started working out and building some muscle and it's a little Ex bit thicker now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's kind of the Bryson of the MC line. Holy power right off the bat here. Whew. That's a pretty solid start. It, pro <laughs> it promises distance, so. Well, you just hit that 200 yards, <laughs> carried it over 190. Another one, Left. near 130 ball speed. So that one turned over just a little, yep. which gave you a little bit more a little distance. More roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That 30 and a half degrees for this seven iron. Um, yeah. So that's probably right about in the middle of the player's distance category. I, I think you so. see some now dropping a little bit below 30. Yeah. I think some are probably in the 31s to maybe a little over 31, 31 and a half. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much in the middle, I would say, for this category. Definitely. So there's a little bit of that forgiveness okay. that was yep. off the toe. Let's see it here. Okay. Still got it 194 yards. Yeah. See that I'm looking at the smash factor. That de that's definitely different, right? Yep. Um, and the carry drop, but you can see that ball. If we go, this is the total, right? And the carry. So it's actually, I mean, looking at the map, it's not a huge loss, you know? No. I mean, the only no, 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 issue no. could be is if you're, you know, on a hole where you got to carry a, you know, if it's a front pin on a hole, you got to, it's all right. carry. You might have some trouble there, but um, most scenarios, that shot won't even hurt. You might be so on the green. Even. Sure, absolutely. When you're hitting the ball 200 yards, that's a lot to ask for, but Taylor right. is providing it, so. Another miss hit. I mean, yeah. It's 197 very yards. Very forgiving. I'm also noticing how straight the ball is still going. You know, even if you do slightly miss it, the ball is still flying so straight. I mean, we're, this dotted line is five yards off the center line. So right. you, you miss that, you, you're what, eight or nine feet away yeah. from your intended line. It's probably okay. There's one, another one climbing towards 130 ball speed. You hit that one pretty solid. What yeah. I like about that shot though, is that the height well over hundred feet, landing angle over 50 degrees. Yeah. And I mean, every one of your shots has been in that window of 45 to 50 degrees. Sure. Um, so clearly this club, it's sure it's, it's giving you the distance, but it's one thing, and, and you know Kevin Kraft has talked about this all the time. Larry talks about this all the time. Yeah. If we're going to strengthen the lofts as irons, and Taylor May didn't strengthen this one compared to mm -hmm. previous, but it's you know it's thirty and a half degrees. I think a traditional seven iron is probably 34, 35, 36. So it's stronger than most. Right. And if you're going to do that, you need to be able to get the ball in the air. Yeah. And clearly, this club is doing that for you, giving you the stopping power necessary to hold greens to you know attack from close to 200 yards Absolutely. Um, with a seven iron if you so need to. Um, other numbers here, I like, no, the spin is just under 5,000, um, which this has never claimed to be a high spin iron. Yeah. Um, but like I just mentioned, the spin isn't super, I mean, it's relevant, but if you have no stopping power, the ball is, is if you get high enough, right, the ball's gonna stop. And that's right. the primary concern with having too low a spin is in the ball rolling out. But for this ball launching as high as it does, you, there's right. no really worries there. Sometimes think. you just need gravity to provide the stopping yeah. power. Right, if the ball goes high enough, you know, gravity will do the rest. Exactly. Um, but for a couple of miss hits there, you got, you know, under one three once, but the smash factor is still near, you know, 137, 135 a couple times. So pretty efficient on that. Um, I mean, I think there's a lot to like the P790, and I mean, there's no reason for me to think it won't be really popular moving forward still with a new model. What really jumps out to me is just the lack of curve. I mean, yeah, it's it true it too. so straight. I think if you look at the, I mean. Yeah. No, let's go back the, to the dispersion. The here. dispersion yep. was solid, the carry was solid, the stopping power was, was terrific. It, it's just, I think there's so many golfers, especially in this category, that are looking for, to just kind of reduce that left, right, and, and this iron, Again, I, they were not five perfect strikes, and you mm -hmm. saw five pretty relatively straight right. shots. So five shots that, if you get a, an average size green, I would argue most of these are on the green. 
from right. 200 yards. Let's say the pin is, you know, your 200 yard target. You're probably going to have a lot of those balls that either are landing on the green and staying there, or maybe landing just short of the green sure. and rolling up um, with maybe the couple miss hits he had there. So I don't see, yeah, I mean, there's really no concerns here. Um, clearly the, the P790 performance is still there. Um, what I'm curious about moving forward, and we'll do this on the channel as well, is testing, you know, this model versus the previous model. Yeah. And of course, P790 versus other new players distance irons on the market from 2023. But um, the initial impression is, you know, it's going to be fantastic as it always has been. Right, exactly. Forgiveness and distance is, is what you're looking for with not only an iron in this category, but with the P790 specifically. Mm -hmm. And I think the numbers bear that out. Well, Mr. Geiger, testing complete of the new P790. Um, we talked a lot about performance and the initial impressions, but mm. um, I mean, once again, it's going to be an explosive iron. I think we're also it potentially just my first instinct is that it actually is maybe a little higher launching than the previous models too. I think the stopping power was, was a key takeaway. I think you know these these manufacturers are always you know marketing that the latest and greatest is is going to be farther and more forgiving, and and this is. What really surprised me was just the stability of the head mm -hmm. and just the lack of curve. Um, yeah. you, you just felt like you couldn't miss this thing, yeah. which is uh, pretty impressive considering the fact that this is still an iron that you see in the bags of the best players in the world. Um, to, to be able to have that kind of forgiveness and still control um, is very impressive. Right. I think, you know, and we talked about a couple of the maybe miss hits that you had were still right on the center line and if they're a little bit short you know in most cases on golf courses a little bit short is probably okay versus being too long right or being far right or far left so uh, i think that's a, a nice bonus that might not be talked about too much with this iron because we don't like to talk about miss hits very much sure. but um, that's going to be a nice thing for you to have in the bag if you put this iron in your set so um who's it for now right we got yeah. we got to cover that the golfer that this iron is going to be the best for i think we talked about it at the beginning and i think that still stays true mm -hmm. kind of that low to mid handicapper that still wants some distance out of their iron, but yeah. not necessarily trying to, um, you know, get the biggest, bulkiest, most game improvement model out there. Right, I think somewhere in that kind of maybe eight to 12 handicap range is who I'd be sort of looking at for sort of the whole set. And then all the way down to a, a tour player for the long irons, right? This yep. is a kind of club that would be absolutely perfect as a three iron. Uh, to, it, it's incredibly nuclear off the tee. And then, I mean, it can go all the way up to the, the handicap in the teens. Um, even in maybe just the short irons. I mean, these things right. are extremely forgiving and long. I mean, who doesn't like that? Right, and we talked about the combo set possibilities with P770 right. and even down to P7MC. I know, actually, Larry, he had mentioned to me before he fit one of the Gopher players with a kind of Frankenstein set of tailor-made irons with P7MB, P7MC, 770, and 790 at the right. top. So there is that possibility as well, and we are a big supporter of combo sets here at Second Swing. So. Make sure you schedule your fitting for P790, whether it's just P790 at the top of the set or the bottom of the set, or it's an entire set. The new 2023 P790 will help you play better and hit better iron shots. So Michael, thank you for your help today. Uh, really good initial impression here. You got it.